everyone, Amy Love here, and I wanted to share with you the uh, snippet roll that I finished. And um, I'm not sure if the lighting is doing it justice because I have a lot of light coming in through this window, and then I have my light over here, but it's just not, I don't know. We're, we're, I'm going to try my best. So this is the teacup themed snippet roll that I was working on the other day, and I have finished it. And this is for a swap that I am participating in, in Natasha Scrapbook Corner's Facebook group. And I will put the link to her group um, below. And so I just took like a little, oops, the wind's coming through, a little teacup, um, like uh, one of those like souvenir teacups, and I just gessoed it, I decoupaged a napkin, and then I added this trim and this trim, and then I added this adorable butterfly the butterfly is from Craft Supplies for You, but then I added my own um, bling to the middle. And then I put a bunch of flowers in the cup and pearls and pearl strands. And this beautiful beaded butterfly from Karen Villager. Thank you, Karen. I love your butterflies so much. And of course, I stickled everything and I added a little lace bow right here. Uh, the cup is on top of a doily and then a shabby rosette, and I added two lace bows on either side with like an iridescent pearl in the middle. Super cute. I love it, and it is on one of my wooden spools, which these are so great. I love these wooden spools, which I will have more um, snippet kits available in my Etsy. Just keep your eye open over there, <laughs> and the link to my Etsy is below. Um, I just have to put, take the time to put some more together and then get them listed. But um, I sewed the base of this snippet roll and it has a really pretty fabric underneath and then I added this ruffle lace to the top and bottom and then a really beautiful lace across um, the back. And then um, I layered up some doilies and put a ribbon rose with a bow, the ribbon bow, and those coarse blue strings. I made this beautiful stick pen that is holding it closed, which I just think is gorgeous. Who doesn't love a pretty stick pen? Well, I don't. I love them. Um, all right, so now we're going to unroll it, and I'll show you everything inside. Now, what I did, uh, most everything in here is uh, I just tacked it in with some thread and a needle. That way, my partner can take off all the bits and use them especially the images. Uh, I, the images are um, layered on double fabric and they're just, they're only, um, hello mouth, let's work today. They're only tacked down with thread in the corner. That way she can easily snip out these images and use them. I just think the images are beautiful and the buttons and the rondelles and all the beads, all these things are just a snip away from being able to be used. There's a pretty little teacup. Even these little um, flower appliques, I hand sewed them on. Here's another beautiful image. And some more appliques and charms. I just love this teapot or teacup snippet roll. I think it's adorable. And there's another image and some more goodies for her to use. And they're either pinned in or hand sewn in. And I really did have such a good time uh, making it. And I i can't wait to start working on the next one. And so it's a pretty, it's a pretty long snippet roll. And I just think it's so super pretty. I love how it turned out. So um, let me know what you think. Please leave me a comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And I will be back soon, probably with another snippet roll because I'm a little addicted to making them right now. <laughs> so thanks for watching everybody.